So normal kidney biopsy looks like this. And myeloma cast nephropathy classically looks like this where the light chains go and deposit is what you need to remember. Very good. That is the spirit Akash. Mott cells, flame cells on BM aspirate. Russell bodies and Dutcher bodies on the bone marrow biopsy. That's right. Like a epileptic seizures, you must be coming out with the single liners, even if you're a little scratched also, at least the next two months. That should be the way you should prepare for the entrance. 35 year old, history of high grade fever, tonsillitis. Painful question in the planet Earth will be CD markers, lymphomas, leukemias. It's like a third degree hemorrhoids kind of a feeling you will get to master this, but there is no other way. You have to butterfly, you have to mug it, at least to sneeze it in the exam hall. That is most important and it is a common pain for everyone, right? So CD20 positive, Epstein-Barr virus, LMP1 and CD79A were also positive. Background cells were positive for CD3. But it is CD15 negative. What is the diagnosis is a very important question. So it is a Epstein-Barr virus positive diffuse large B cell lymphoma in view of the CD picture. Now let us quickly run through the CDs doctor. Shortly we will be giving you all these notes available in the you medical app where you can bookmark and it will keep giving you reminders notifications so that you go back and then keep reviewing but for now cd1 is the langerhans cells cd4 is helper cd8 is cytotoxic t cells all of you know cd10 is follicular lymphoma with the immature b cells and uh, cd11 c are granulocytes monos and hairy cell leukemia CD15 is granulocytes and reed Steinberg cells of the Hodgkins. And CD16 is natural killer cells and granulocytes, etc, etc. I'm not going to read all that for you. You must be already ready with all that CD list with you. Then early pre-B cells which are immature are CD10. Myeloid cells are CD13, 33 and 117. CD1656 is NK cells, CD15 is uh, Reed Steinberg and uh, CD23 and CD5 are very very specific for chronic lymphocytic leukemia or the small lymphocytic lymphoma, right? Then mantle cell lymphomas, lot of times this question was asked in the exam, CD5 positive, CD23 negative. So all your luck of becoming something unfortunately depends on the CD count. Very good. Shoyev rightly says rituximab CD20 bulna math. Good, good. Now there is a new marker for the mantle cell lymphoma especially useful in cyclin D1 negative cases. Too much na? Pehla amko cyclin D1 positive hota bolke malum nahi. What is the other marker that you use in mantle cell lymphoma? Right? DNB, past 15 years question bank. We have discussed topic wise and available in uh, UMedico app. That is the best place where we have completely ironed out, including the mnemonics, how we can funny way remember the CDs for the various leukemia, lymphomas. So please uh, uh, review that. And you also add some more ways to remember and then upload it into the UMedico app in the discussion forum. We will be very happy to see that, right? So, Doc, SOX11 is something that you need to remember. Very good. Already Shiva Chandra Bhagat and uh, Nagiredi, Pradnya and uh, Akash Rai, everyone is uh, up to mark in the previous questions of the AIMS. Eh? Very good, very good, very good. If Ames previous question is what is the salinity of Pacific Ocean? I think you are all guys ready to remember salinity of all the seven oceans, right? So yeah, that's right. So 
मैंटल सेल लिंफोमा में नंबर वन रिमेंबर करो वन लॉट ऑफ वन आर इन्वॉल्व इन दैट वाई इफ यू डू इम्यूनो हिस्टोसाइटो केमिस्ट्री इट विल बी पॉजिटिव फॉर साइक्लिन डी वन इट विल बी बी सी एल वन पॉजिटिव ऑल्सो फॉर सॉक्स वन वन लेवन इट इज पॉजिटिव इफ यू लुक एट जेनेटिक्स टी लेवन फोर्टीन इज इन्वॉल्व एंड आई जी एच सी सी एंड डी वन विल बी पॉजिटिव एंड इट इज ऑल्सो सी डी फाइव पॉजिटिव so that is the reason mantle cell lymphoma should be remember for lot of one 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 which are involved in that is what need to be remembered now you have done a histopathological examination of the lymph node then what is the zone that is being marked basically represents it represents the mantle zone is what you need to remember now let us go to the lymph node histology doctor you have to be 100% sure on thymus lymph node spleen ye teenon ka histology aaj raat hi aap dinner buffet mein le lo right take this as an inspiration to read these three histologies immediately whichever the book you have read right very happy to see 206 online viewers across the country good good now each lymph node is enclosed by a fibrous capsule it has a capsule it has a cortex it has a medulla and there are fibrous septa or trabeculae which will be coming from the covering capsule towards the center of the node and the, there are cortical nodules which are packed with the lymph lymphocytes and they are surrounded by a less dense area which is called the germinal center and uh, in the medulla you have the sinuses and the medullary cords now what are trabeculae this cortical nodules in the cortex are separated from each other by the structures which are called as trabeculae is what you need to remember so once more talking about the lymph node anatomy you have a area which is basically called a cortical area and a paracortical area so pura outside color mein hai na that is all cortical area this is all cortex inside hai na a paracortical area why this why it is important for you to know this paracortical area is the place where you find t cells and dendritic cells which are the antigen presenting cells cortical is the area where you have b cells and follicular dendritic cells and subcapsular macrophages they are present in the cortical area then you are also having an area which is basically called the mantle zone and in the mantle zone you have the germinal centers and inside the germinal centers you have the secondary follicles so you have primary follicles like this or you have the secondary follicles with the germinal center is what you need to understand so once more you have the follicles which are all the typical b areas b cell areas in the cortex then paracortical area you are having all the t area where you have the paracortical uh, area you have the t cells is what you need to remember so once more to show you this is the cortex this is the medulla and uh, you are having a capsule a marginal sinus this is the marginal sinus which you need to remember then you have germinal centers and the secondary follicles and the paracortical area here is basically called the t cell zone that's what i want to once more reinforce for you so these uh, one of these three once for november 18th aap entrance likhte hue suddenly hasle the are that day 
Dr. Murli Bharadwaj said, uh, lymph node, spleen or thymus. Agaya mera spleen ka histology. Aapko aims ke screen ke upar dikhega mai. Right? So, that is the whole uh, uh, idea.